Hey guys, welcome back to Mechanics Live. This is Art, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to replace the thermostat in a 2011 Porsche Panamera. And this job could also be the same thing for the um, uh, water pump because obviously, I have to take the water pump out on this car to get the thermostat out. So, let's get straight to it. First things first, what we're gonna do is gonna get take off the intake duct. Unscrew that. Then unscrew this one. And unscrew the third one on the top. And once again, this is for our V6 3.6 engine. One, two, and three. So we take off this piece, put it aside so we can have a little more room on to work with. So the next thing, this is your water pump. So before we take off the belt, we're gonna go ahead and remove these three T40 uh, bolts. We're gonna use a 3 8 ratchet. That's one. That's two, that's three. So once we got these loosened, uh, we can go ahead and remove the belt. To remove the tension of the belt, you use a T45 Torx right here, and you press clockwise very slowly, just like that. And with the other hand, you just remove Remove the belt. So the belt's off, and don't worry about the belt because there is a diagram on how to replace the belt. Next thing is we're gonna lower the belt down just like so, and we're gonna remove those three bolts. That's one. That's two. Now it's giving me a problem. There you go. That's three. So we're gonna use a pry bar and pry it out. Once you get the pulley off, just put it to the side and we'll have to work on the uh, water pump itself. Now the water pump uses an E10 socket to get the bolts off and there's total of one, two, three, four, five bolts for the water pump. Now you definitely want to drain the system before you do that. Use an E10 socket and a six inch extension to get those uh, bolts off. So we'll start with the lower one. That's one. That's two. Three. That's four. There's one on the bottom here. That's five. And we just start doing it by hand.
and put that to the side. So once we have the water pump out, this is your thermostat right here. Next thing you, what you want to do is remove the bolts for the throttle body. Remove the connector. throttle body itself. Get the last bolt out so you don't lose it. Put that aside. And now before you pull out the thermostat, there's a sensor right here. You have to unplug and then you have to pull out the thermostat. So that's what we're gonna do. And for that, we can use some needle nose pliers. Press the tab, and off it goes. That's the plug. Put it away. For now. So once you get the thermostat out, you want to wipe it clean, any debris out there. And you kind of want to put a rag inside to get a little bit of the, uh, of the liquid. And soak it in. Just like that. And that's good. Perfect. Now, take the new one. new thermostat right here that's what it looks like and it has that one plug that goes on to here and we're gonna put it straight straight down what I like to do is put a little bit of oil then kind of like because they are really really hard to get in Just like WD-40 is good. And once again, this goes plug up. Straight. So I have to do straight up. There we go. That's straight. Now we we'll have to get the little plug and carefully, carefully get it in there. It's gonna be a pain in the butt, but we should get it in there.
just tugging at it a little bit just to see if, if it clipped and it looks like it did. So that's in. Now we can put the uh, throttle body inside. We're back. And that's the connector for the throttle body. Tighten that up. Like that in a cross. Once you tighten those, now we're just going to tighten the bolts and do it in a cross pattern. Like that. And don't tighten it too much because it's plastic, the intake manifold. Just like that. Not fit, we'll put the plug back on like that. And now we'll put the pump back on. The pump was sitting like this. Get all the bolts for the pump. Those five bolts. The E10 socket Now we can use the ratchet to make a tight connection. Don't tighten it too hard until you tighten everybody, all of them. So it's a snug fit. So pumps on here. Next thing, I want to install the pulley back, and you just align it straight, the holes are straight, just like that, before you tighten anything, I'm just going to put the bolts in there, so you know the threads are right. Three. Now tighten as much as you can by hand with a ratchet first. Once you tighten this by hand, next thing is we're going to put the belt back in its place. There we go. So the belt's back on. 
Now we can tighten the rest of the bolts for the water pump. All right, those are done. This one's tight. Tight, everything's good to go. Put this rubber back on. So this plastic cover, this car was at Porsche a couple of days ago for like a diagnostic or something and the customer called me. They never gave it back to their, so she's on the phone right now trying to figure out what just happened and where her little cap is and usually it says like uh, the size of the engine on, on the top. So next thing we'll do after everything's installed back in here, we're gonna go ahead and come to the, the coolant, obviously because it lost a lot of coolant. And we're gonna go ahead and pressurize the system to see if there's any leaks. Get our pump. Now, after we pressurize the system, everything looks fine. We're gonna go ahead and add the coolant. And this is a 50-50 mix, so. And this is how you replace the thermostat and the water pump on a 2011 Porsche Panamera. If this video was uh, helpful in any way, uh, let me know what you think. Um, put a comment, subscribe, and like the video.